marketing guru of Mario, uh, which is a modular design system for action figures? It is. Okay. So Mario is a new app that's available right now on the Apple um, App Store. It allows you to customize and create your own characters and creatures and then print them directly to your desktop 3D printer. Very cool. And right now it's only available on the iPad. It is, but we've had a lot of requests for additional platforms, <laughs> which we love. And I am pushing our um, software team. Software team, if you can hear me out there, the people want more platforms. <laughs> awesome. So just give us a brief run through of what do you do with it? It's a really simple drag and drop creature creation tool. So you can see here um, on the, the app, you can drag and drop pieces, give it some legs, <laughs> arms. You can pose them, color them. You can texture them, which is really cool. So you can give your guy, you know, he can be smooth or he can have a diamond plate chest or snake skin. Very cool. Um, and then you go to print it and it really streamlines the whole printing process. So it will lay everything out for you on different plates. You can adjust the scale, so you can go anywhere from 50% scale, which would make something about that big, to 300% scale. We have our um, giant cool. scorpion here. So this is at 300% <laughs> scale? This is at scale, 300%. Whereas this guy is 125? About 125, yep. Very cool. Well, you have to have the thing that he would ride on. That's right, so, exactly, yeah. yeah. Or he makes a lovely accessory. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And then it will also show you um, the approximate time that it's going to take to print it and the estimated uh, material usage, which people find really helpful. Like, I mean, I think about when I was a kid, it would have been amazing to be able to think of something and then, you know, within, I don't know, anywhere from two to 24 hours later, the toy that I've created is right there in my living room to play with. <laughs> So it's pretty awesome. And as a modular system, it, yeah. it basically works like a building system. As long yeah. as everything is at the same scale, you can pull parts of pieces apart, you can put them back together in a different way. Absolutely. And what we've seen here at Maker Faire, uh, we have a table full of kids playing with parts. Well, it's very cool to see the digital effect the real world and also expand on imagination instead of limiting. Absolutely, so, yeah. Very totally cool. Agree. As a mom, the thing that I really love, I have a five-year-old and a nine-year-old. Um, and they'll, I mean, my nine-year-old especially, spends a, too much time immersed in the digital world. And so with Mario, what we found is he'll sit there and they'll construct and reconstruct digitally, but then we've got tables full of parts and they'll sit for hours and build things analog too. So it really is this amazing convergence of digital and analog that works for the whole family. Well, I think seeing that connection and that connection across play yeah. is really fascinating. But yeah. This isn't independent from that. That right. isn't independent from that. Exactly. I think that's very, yeah. very cool. And then, you know, the other thing to know, a lot of people don't yet have 3D printers, um, but the app does allow you to, well, in a second, it will, um, with the server in here, it's going to upload your files um, so that you can download them to a thumb drive. It will export an STL or a .thing file. So you can download them to a thumb drive and then take them to your local library or fabrication shop um, where you can then have them printed as well. Very yeah. cool, very yep. cool. Well, thank you so much, Kim, for You're taking welcome. the time to talk to us. Thank you.